Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a brand new product, yay, from Jones Road, and it's an interesting one. It is their tinted face powder. Now, I am not a big face powder, setting powder person. So at first I thought, oh, okay, wait, wait, tint, tinted? And then I saw that this comes in like eight shades, and I thought, a face powder that's colorful in eight shades? So I had to go right in for the colors. Since I'm not a big one, I'll set under my eyes and around my nose. I have to, but I don't really rely on it because I have a very kind of normal, maybe even a little bit dry complexion. But I heard they were tinted and color correcting and I was all about that. So I had to check it out and I picked up the pink shade and the yellow shade. So we're gonna talk about these and we're gonna try them out. So these are $28 each and they do come in nude shades and a translucent shade because they're a lovely powder. So if you rely on powdering your complexion to keep oil at bay, you might really wanna look at those. But today we're going to look at these beautiful colors. And let me see if the camera, there we go. There's the pink, look at that, woo! And here is the yellow. They are most certainly pink and yellow. Um, and I'll even put them on my hand for you to see. The pink and the rose correct dullness. There is a rose shade that is a bit deeper than this pink, and that is for a deeper complexion. And the yellow kind of takes down redness, which I love. For light to medium, this can set under the eyes and nose. And for me, that's where I use setting powder every day. So it's a replacement there. And I'm gonna try this in the demo on half of my face and compare, and I think you will be amazed. By magic, I have already done the demo. Let me see if putting this on my hand will even give you an idea of the shade. There it is on my finger, that's obviously the yellow. And if I put it here on my hand, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. And I really don't know if we're doing this for color so much as we're doing it for color correcting. There's the pink. And there it is on my hand. I don't think that the camera is gonna pick that up and maybe that's actually a good thing because that's not why we're doing it. We're doing this to kind of help disguise. And anytime I hear that something is gonna make me look a bit brighter and more awake, I gotta tell you, I am all over it and super interested. I think this is a really kind of innovative product. Not that color correcting hasn't been done before and not that color correcting powders haven't been done before, but I love that kind of ingenious, expertise that puts this in a powder. So rather than just using a setting powder, I can go ahead and use a loose powder around my nose, under my eyes, and just to brighten things up, I had to see what this was about. So we are going to go to the demo and do half the face, and I'll let you guys decide for yourself, and then we'll come back and talk about it. So stay right there. Okay, let me tell you what I have on. I do have a little bronzer um, and mascara on my eyes. So I use the bronzer in the crease and a little bit of mascara, very little. On my face, I have a little bit of a Jones Road Wet the Foundation and a little bit of the face pencil. And that's all linked below in the description bar so you can see everything that I'm wearing. So other than my eyes, you know, which we're not doing much with them in this video, it's not an eye video, I really just have complexion done and that's it. Um, and we are going to use these powders. Now, I did not buy any of the translucent or kind of nude powders powders because I don't tend to powder my face, but I do color correct. So I was fascinated about those. Okay, so what we're gonna look at here is I got the pink shade. Rose would be for a deeper skin tone. And this, as I said, will correct dullness. So I'm gonna do this all over the face, but first let's start with the yellow. The yellow with a light to medium face, me, can um, set under the eyes and take down redness. So I've got a little Sonia G brush right here and we are gonna do the yellow shade under my eyes and around the nosy, and then we are going to use the pink on the rest of the face, and we'll see what it looks like. Now, I am going to just do one side of the face just so you guys can see the difference. I am opening up by sliding it for the little holes, and then I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a turner upside downer and see what we think. I have some on the cap, that's all I really need. We don't wanna over powder here. Okay, so we're gonna go under the eye, and this is a little bit of a bigger brush, but that's okay. We're just doing this side of the face here. We're gonna go underneath the eye, and I tend to go on top of the eye as well. Um, that's fine, I just have a little bit of bronzer there. So we have this eye color corrected with a powder of all things. 
and this eye with nothing. Can you guys tell a difference? I actually think I can. And then we are gonna take that same powder and go around my nose. Now I have told you guys many times, if you have been with my channel for a while, that I am the original allergy girl. Boy, do I get allergies. So I do need to use powder here. Usually I use a translucent or a skin colored nude powder, but if I can use a yellow, it helps cut down on the redness. So let's just take a look. This side has my complexion products, but no uh, any sort of color correction at all. Again, I use the face pencil and the Wet the Foundation. This side I have added in, again, from light to medium skin tone, this will work. I have added in the yellow color corrector around the nose and under the eyes. See if you see a difference. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a fluffier brush, namely a refer number five. We're gonna take a fluffier brush and we are gonna open up the pink shade clumsily. Can't do it one-handed. And dump it into the cap, same as before. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to dust my entire face with this pink shade. This is supposed to help with dullness, but I'm not gonna really do my entire face because we're comparing. So I'm just gonna do this side. So I'm gonna set that, put that pink everywhere and see if we feel like my face looks more alive. Now, if you have a deeper skin tone than I do, you would be using the rose, not the pink. Okay, let's do a little more, okay? Now, I don't wanna to do too much because any powder will cake if you do too much. Well, I think I definitely see a difference there. What do you guys think? This side, I have the pink shade to brighten my entire complexion, and I have the yellow shade around my allergy nosy and underneath to brighten my eyes. I can absolutely see a difference just looking in the viewfinder. How about you guys? Can you tell a difference? between this side. Now again, this side has the wet the foundation and the face pencil, but nothing color correcting at all. And let me tell you, I definitely see a difference. Definitely. Let's put some makeup over it and come back and discuss because this is, this is interesting. And here is our end result in a very Bobby Brown Jones Road minimalist way. I just added a few Jones Road products, but I have to tell you, I'm kind of letting the complexion lead the way with this look. Not that I'm that proud of my complexion. I'm pretty proud of how I used these powders. I think I look bright and healthy, and I don't know that I'm bright. <laughs> bright and healthy skin, but you know what I mean. It's an illusion a little bit, but I think it's a, an illusion that's kind of working. You guys are welcome to tell me what you think, and I'm kind of excited that I got to play with these. I think it really works, and I would love to know from those of you with a deeper skin tone who tried the more rosy shade of the pink, did it make you look brighter and more awake? Because we're all faking it a bit, aren't we? We certainly are. So let me know your thoughts. I am a super, super curious. For me, I could see this becoming an everyday staple. The other day I tried, I don't know if I put the video out yet or not, but the other day I tried the Beekman 1802, the um, brand new primer that's tinted, and I like to wear it just as makeup, but it can get a bit sticky, so this would be delightful over the top of it. Very, very pretty. Did you try these? And if you did, what do you think? I would love to know your thoughts. It's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come and say a big hello and give me a follow on Instagram and on TikTok too. And please remember that you can become a bigger part of this community here on YouTube by becoming a member or giving super thanks. And so many of you have done that. But look, if you're here, I'm just happy to see you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.